Hey, what's up? Jake here from The White Life, and I am going to make another garden. As if a 40 by 40 garden wasn't enough. <laughs> this is going to be our pumpkin watermelon patch. I've got cardboard down and metal roofing that I've been killing the grass off with over the last few weeks. I'm going to try to get all this stuff off of here and get this tilled. And If you guys haven't noticed, I love doing time lapse when we're doing all this work. And the reason is, it's a ton of work. It takes forever. I could make a half an hour video every time and not even encompass everything that we're doing. It takes hours of footage because I'm doing hours of work out here. Without doing the time lapse, you're not going to be able to see the progress. And who can sit there and watch a 40 minute video? I mean, that's ridiculous. So, that being said, Cue the time lapse. So we're gonna till this all tonight and get it planted all in one go. That's not gonna happen. And I've got the surface of it all killed off pretty well. And what I'm gonna do is let it set for a day, dry up a little bit, um, maybe even for a couple days, and then till it again, and then maybe even a third time. That's the good stuff right there. Fresh soil, and it's mine. So, I'm back. This is the last day of tilling. I tilled it one more time, and we are ready to plant our pumpkins and watermelons. We have two different kinds of pumpkins and two different kinds of watermelons. So here's what we're trying. These are all heirloom varieties, by the way. So if we protect one of these blooms and try to keep the seed pure, can harvest the seeds this fall and have the same seed for next year. That's the plan. But this is, what is that? That's pumpkin. Yeah, it's a state fair winner. It's supposed to get huge. Um, we'll see how big we can get some of these. Then just a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Then our watermelons, there's two different kinds. One's called Golden Midget Jubilee, which is a huge watermelon. Alright, we're all done. We've got all our varieties planted, a few of each, a few piles each. And we'll probably end up running out into the yard. <laughs> this is 20 by 30, which isn't enough, quite enough for what we just planted. We can train them a little bit, but they kind of start getting a mind of their own after a while. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm super excited to see those things go. I'm super excited about everything out here. Everything we got going on, I'm excited about it. It's a great place to be right now. Just, I mean, where we're living, but in life too. It's awesome. So we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, sometime soon we'll be able to get going fishing again. I really want to take Ryder out again. <laughs>